Uh, certainly there is concern about direct uh, to consumer advertising. Under the current law, of course, there is a, a very clear-cut, straightforward ban on uh, advertising for uh, health uh, products, for uh, pharmaceuticals. And to uh, allow, under this bill, that that ban be bypassed um, at the cabinet table where uh, the cabinet could be subject to phenomenal pressure by uh, lobbyists from the pharmaceutical industry, I believe is not in the best interests of Canadians. And uh, therefore, I'm also very concerned about the uh, weakening of the ban on advertising. Already clearly there are loopholes in the ban and companies are advertising. We see uh, ads, uh, very kind of tongue-in-cheek, cheeky ads on television where it's, it's uh, hide-and-seek about what is the product that they're advertising. Uh, but this is a loophole and in fact that loophole should be closed, not opened up, which it uh, well could be by this legislation. Um, there is concern about the role of the pharmaceutical industry in, um, in influencing this legislation. Um, there are many people who choose natural products because they already have a mistrust of the role of the pharmaceutical industry, um, sometimes justified. And we've seen cases like Vioxx, for example, um, uh, and others that have, uh, that have created uh, terrible problems for people, uh, some perhaps not justified, where certainly the pharmaceuticals uh, that uh, are available to us have been of great assistance to people. But what is of concern is the power that the pharmaceutical industry has in terms of, of uh, influencing, uh, influencing legislators, in terms of influencing public policy. And as the industry critic for my party, I, I um, was very concerned uh, about the proposed changes that the, um, uh, to the Drug Patent Act that would allow the pharmaceutical industry to continue to evergreen or extend the patent protection for, uh, for certain drugs and to deny generic drugs the opportunity to offer their products in the marketplace at a huge cost to the public. This will cost public health plans, it will cost private health plans, it will cost individuals uh, hundreds of millions of dollars. It's a huge change. The uh, proposed changes were put out uh, without prior notification, without consultation, except to the pharmaceutical industry. And uh, there are real concerns about what this uh, continued evergreening and continued patent protection will mean. So there are real concerns about uh, the role of the pharmaceutical industry and uh, there are many people who choose another path. They choose naturopathic medicine, naturopathic doctors and uh, we need to reassure them that they will be able to continue to use the products that they uh, believe are helping them, that are assisting with their health and that they know are essential to their well-being. So um, I just want to say uh, uh, with, with all the uh, clarity I can that uh, I oppose Bill C-51 as it now stands. Um, I believe that not only can it open the door to direct consumer advertising, which I strongly disagree with, um, that it gives too much discretion to the minister, uh, and that it is a thinly veiled attempt to bring in natural health products under the rubric of pharmaceuticals. Natural health products are a vital component to our health care system. They should be a separate category, separate regulations, and um, uh, we should be operating not on a risk management approach, but on a do-no-harm approach, and I believe that this bill does not achieve that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.